Hi, welcome to another episode of Fly Tying with Jared the Mountain Man. Today we're tying a diret. It's a low riding caddis <laughs> pattern and it floats real good. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever tied it. I have used it when my buddy had given it to me and I liked it, so I figured I'll tie a few of my own. The only problem with the one he gave me is the colors didn't match the caddis we have in our area so I'm changing it a little bit to match the caddis that we have in our area but it anyways it's a size 12 dry fly hook I'm using some uni 6 aught olive thread and I'm gonna start by I'm gonna start the thread right here at the uh, oh shoot I almost forgot some tag in but yeah, I'm going to start it right at the eye, make sure I have plenty of tag end, because we're going to use the tag end to tie in some hackle later. So, so I start right, I start it right here at the eye. Now, I'm going to take some deer, I'm going to take some deer hair. Probably about 25, 30 fibers. This is going to make the tail and the head. And what I'm going to do is use the tips for the tail. I want the tail to be about half the shank, half the length of the shank of the hook. So. And then I'm going to tie it in right at the front. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to take a piece of badger saddle hackle tie that in with the deer hair okay and I got that tied in so now I'm going to start open wrapping this deer hair down I'm trying to keep it all on top To wrap it back to the bend of the hook. There we go, give a few good wraps on there. Now, I'm going to take some, what is this, medium olive dubbing. Go dub the body. Most people use deer or hare's ear to dub the body, but it didn't match the caddis we have here. Other than that, everything else is the same. Pull this out of the way. I'm gonna, gonna start palmering my hackle around. There we go. Now that I'm at the back, I'm gonna take my tag in start tying down this, this hackle I'm 
Okay, now I'll tie that out. Tie that off. Cut off the excess. Deer hair back. Wrap it around the eye. Help hold the deer hair up. There we go. Now give it a whip finish. Get that real nice and snug. Trim off. Trim off my thread. Pull the deer hair forward. I'm gonna use my curves to use for this. Take my deer hair and. Trim it off. Gotta leave that little head like every other caddisfly you tie. Oh, left one still standing. There we go. Looks like I, all my hackle was a, was too long. But now I'm gonna Trim all the hackle fibers out of the bottom. Oh, I almost forgot to trim out the rest of my hackle. There we go. And there you go. There is the diorite the uh, caddis. It's a low riding caddis pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video and watch all my others. <laughs>